In extasia or in ecstasy, I thought was a nice way of encapsulating a particular feeling in the show, which is a feeling that I'm interested in, in my work often, or it's like a feeling that I'm always chasing or trying to go back to. For me, it's kind of this moment where pain might tip into pleasure, or pleasure might kind of stumble towards pain, where something violent might become ecstatic. There's this kind of low level, like water that's almost boiling, and it feels, yeah, it feels like this slow rolling ecstasy, like you're coming up on a drug or something. I guess you could argue that in ecstasy, this feeling is a fundamental part of being alive. At the same time, I think the show is constantly saying, are you alive? Are you dead? Is this living? Is this what living feels like? Uh, should this be what living feels like? Should it feel like something else? Can we reach for something else? In the first room of the exhibition, you enter immediately into um, this harsh yellow light that is, is a light that I've used a lot in my work and it's kind of toxic, kind of acrid. No one looks nice under this light. It also feels like maybe the sun is just shining a little too brightly, or maybe the sun has just started to go bad, like milk <laughs> or something. And, and above your head is a sort of hacked and repurposed electrical fencing system. So the type of net or fence that would usually keep an animal in an enclosure. As you walk under this net, at the end of the room is a large photo. It's a photo of a person, a figure, uh, whose hands are over their face. And it starts us off on an ambiguity between either hiding, retreating, or potentially being in too much pain, too much suffering, that you have to close your eyes, cover your face, block, block things out. The second room is a collaboration with a designer from Amsterdam called Bas Stiftgen. We go to the institution, in this case the Kunsthalle Basel, walk through the institution and try to pick out lots of these, yeah, these small, almost disposable parts of the building. And what we do is we, we remove them all from the institution, from the Kunsthalle. We collect blood from abattoirs that are, are nearby, ship them to Amsterdam, and Bass makes exact replicas. The blood is, is, is poured into a mold and, and like squeezed and heated so hard that the albumen, it's this one part of the blood, the albumen transforms into a solid. You know, I suppose for me it feels like a kind of evocative implication of, of, of entanglement. Uh, that, that the work is just asking what, what is given and what is taken in the making of an institution like the Kunsthalle, in the making of a show like this. The third and central room of the exhibition is maybe the quietest room in a way. I almost wanted the central part of the show to be the, the quietest, the most studious maybe. But I find it's, it's one that also starts to bleed into people's personal lives very quickly. There are 10 etchings on steel. Each of the etchings depicts a series of pages from a consent form that is kind of typical of, of um, medical forms in the US, ascertaining that the patient is giving consent to be sterilized. Um, it's a typical type of form that you might read if you're having a hysterectomy, a vasectomy. Um, and so you start to feel the ways that this, this question of reproduction and the question of also what is consent in terms of um, something like this procedure, again, becomes entangled. That perhaps, yes, you are consenting to it, but there is some other force at play. Uh, there is some other power intruding into that situation. At the same time, for many people, it's also a liberation. 
and then suddenly the fourth room is a series of five holograms um, spinning on the wall together. I don't know, it, it, it like loosens your grip on reality a little bit or something. This work is a five channel hologram piece called In Extase. It's a poem as well as um, a series of, of kind of drawings and animations and, and abstract colors. It's the part of the show that, yeah, connects most closely to the title and, and suffering, pain, ecstasy, excitement, uh, this experience of being in a body, of living. The final room, which is probably the most intense of the show, is again a new film. It's called La Nuit American, it means the American night that refers to a process of simulating nighttime, so a fake nighttime. In this instance, I wanted to use the technique and make no attempts to hide that it was the daytime. What you're seeing is this twilight palette, but at the same time you're experiencing intense flashes of light. You see the sun in the sky repeatedly. Um, there are like harsh reflections off of glass buildings, um, people walking clearly in like t-shirts or you know out in the sun and whatever and it begins I think to sort of tinge upon horror I kept joking to my friends that it's like my version of a zombie film or my version of a horror film nothing could possibly feel more terrifying than everything being normal than everything being the regular day-to-day -day. this is what you expect to see this is how the world runs this is what it looks like in the morning to get up and walk your dog and that that is the most horrific thing, that is the most terrifying experience. <laughs>